This program is dedicated to exploring the many realities of our universe and the world that we live in. The knowledge, the wisdom, the scientific and spiritual understandings of those who are pushing the edge of human awareness. Shamans and theologians from many traditions, scientists, elders, healers and the healed, authors, poets and artists and ordinary people who have come to extraordinary awarenesses. It wasn't very long ago when the world was convinced that this chair I'm sitting in was solid. We know now that it is not solid. It is an ever-floating raft of molecules, constantly in movement, atomic and subatomic particles. Our reality is, at this moment in time, that this is solid. Those molecules have been arranged to look like a chair in this reality. The true nature of things is, however, it is not solid. If we had daylight 24 hours and never saw the stars, our reality would not include stars. But that is not the true nature of things. How we perceive the world and the reality that we're in at the moment is the basis for our belief systems, our choices, everything from personal action to the way governments or are organized. Albert Einstein is credited with saying you cannot solve a problem in the same consciousness in which it was created. What is the true nature of things? And how do we integrate that into our social being and our understanding? This is what our program is all about. Today we are honored to have with us Wallace Black Elk. He is a Lakota elder and his reality includes many things that our world and our belief systems have not yet incorporated, nor have our choices. Wallace knew from a very early age he knew his purpose, he knew why he was here and where he was going. And fortunate for us, as a spiritual interpreter, he has come from his home in the Black Hills to share the Lakota way and his understandings of other realities. Wallace, welcome. Uh -huh. To all my relations, and I thank you to each and everyone here and in the television world. And uh, uh, it's about time we all come to focus our mind universally because I speak from the universe of minds. We call them animals, but uh, no one is equal to the power of the Creator or the power of the Holy Mother. So beneath his sacred hands, his creation, we are able to communicate to the, uh, to the animals. And these animals are assigned to the four cardinals of the universe. So we, we are able to still communicate through this animal to the Creator and our Holy Mother. Oh, now, uh, wisdom, if we look up, we see a, a huge blue uh, sky. They call it sky, but we call it, uh, grandfather wears a huge, immense blue robe and he wears nine kinds of stars. 
So those people were here to assist, help us, because because that power that was given to us, we mess it up. So wisdom encompassed the knowledge, and the knowledge is a woman. She is the temple of God who gave birth and life to all living. Like Genesis wrote, God created heaven and earth and everything. Well, there's some uh, uh, were not accurately interpreted and translated. So wisdom, knowledge, and power means we talk about nucleus, we call it spirit. So that spirit continues to live on. We call it fire generation. And uh, the gift is a talent and love, the way we're formed, shaped. So my people uh, uh, say this, the spirit, the great mystery, look at me very carefully, for my hand is sacred. I am a spirit, I'm sacred. So my hand are winged people, four-legged people, the creepers are people, the mammals, the crawlers, and the fish people, and finally the tail end, the image of God, the two-legged. So this is the way it was <coughs> from a very beginning. Well, what man messed up was he was given a little bitty teensy witty of uh, wisdom and knowledge and power and gift. But man wants to be godlike. And uh, he got this funny idea and he wants to create something that God didn't create. So, <clears throat> so to Kashla came back, the Holy Mother, they came back to see him. And the man said, who are you? Knowing and willingly denies him. Because he wants to use that power to be God, to be above the Creator. So for that, uh, man was told that he is given that power. You could live here as long as you want to, or you could live here forever. That is called freedom. So, <clears throat> uh, we could live here forever, but we mess it up. So, having a doubt against the Creator, so the Creator, <clears throat> uh, what I mean by man messing up is, he looks around and he knows that he couldn't create nothing. So he looks around and abuse their power. Let there be a mountains. So the whole world shook and crashed here and crunched here and like a fan, like a snow was blown here, and cold air, hot air blown here, and the mud was lying this way and that way. The water was gushing this way and that way. Hot air and ashes blown and lava spoon out. So all uh, creatures, they call, uh, they start to run away from the two-legged. So it was the four-legged. People looked back and they saw this man standing there and he lost his rope. 